Welcome everybody back to the Crimson 15 Podcast. I'm your host, Crimson 10. And 15 PCA. Nate's here, 454. And be sure to check us out on Twitter at C15 Podcast. We're going to start out with Nintendo. The biggest news is Nintendo you know, showed off its new... How, how, how do you say this? Nintendo uh, Lab? Lab Labo? Labo. I'm going to call it Labo. Unless yeah, I can Labo. Hear it. Yeah. So basically, this is just like a creator kit thing. It's made out of cardboard, and you can like build different little things. Like They showed off like a camera, yeah, even like a little a shack, a fishing a house. line, a house. And it, it looks, kind, looks kind of decent. It's kind of like, of course, Nintendo always has really, really good trailers. So yeah. the trailer was really, really cool. Like, it, you know, it showed a guy walking Very out. Very slick. Very yeah. Slick. And I thought to myself, well, this could be kind of fun for families. Yeah. yeah. More of like a, you get together with your kid, hey, let's build this little uh, car, this little house. Or for your kid yourself. It, yeah. it reminded me a lot of like, oh, building a, a, a soapbox derby racer. Yeah. Or building a birdhouse with your kid. You know, you can go and buy the little kits and then you yeah. can, you know. it's like, Even though you can make a little guy, there's a game with a little guy. Yeah, there's all, there's, they haven't outlined game. every single type of game, but it looks like there's going to be a fishing game. Something to do with like a, a, house. a house. I don't know what kind of game that is. Uh, piano, piano, um, robot, uh, like a robot backpack thing. They even had something that looked kind of like a gun for a second, like yeah. a shotgun, and there was like a camera. Mm-hmm. And I guess these little games you slide in the Joy Cons in different spots, yeah. and then that controls the game. So it's kind of a fun idea, kind of way out of left field. Like I didn't, no one was expecting this. Yeah. No. So why announce Mother? You know, uh, a sequel <laughs> to Mother or in these kind of big games and another Smash Brothers? No, a new they <laughs> yeah. showed this, and I thought, okay, the prices for these things. I'm reading this from The Verge. This is the problem. Nintendo. This is coming straight from them. Nintendo Labo launches April 20th. Haha, <laughs> and will be available in two versions. The variety kit features five different games. And Toy Con, including an RC car, fishing, and the piano for sixty nine ninety nine. That's pretty expensive. Ridiculous. The robot kit, meanwhile, will be sold for seventy nine ninety nine. That's just one. And that, and the the robot one's way more elaborate. Yeah, it's like a me- full backpack. You get to put little yeah. shoes on. And here's the thing, though. I know my nephews are rough on yeah. things. They're gonna break this thing. Yeah. Because there's like strings you have to hook up, and there's like I don't want to say gears and motors, but there's pulley like a pulley yeah, system. Just, if you can visually see me right now, I'd be shaking my head right now. This is just re- I'm sorry for that price. It should have been the roll bottle case okay, since you wear it because I didn't know you wear it. Send twenty five dollars max. Yeah, I came you, up you, this in my mind. This is the idea that I came up with. Hey, you can buy these pre cut uh, kits for this much, or you can buy the software for like twenty and then download. The instructions. The instructions so you can have like templates and just cut it out of regular cardboard. Well, how that cool you get. would that be? I think that would be the best way to go. These prices are crazy high. For yeah. something your kids might play five times? Yeah. How much replay is there in the fishing game? What, five hours of gameplay? Maybe. That? maybe. And how many Nintendo fanboys are going to buy and just leave it on their shelf? Yeah, and never, yeah, use, never it. use it. Or, um, or and also, I think the kids would have more fun actually playing with the boxes more than the actual game. Yeah. You know, like, they'd probably be in the robot suit going outside yeah. playing than they were, oh, let's play the Switch and, inside. And there was um, there was also, like, a motorcycle one. Yeah. but it, yeah. So, remember all those really crappy plastic little things you could buy for the Nintendo Wii. Yeah. It's, it's come full circle. Now you build your crappy plastic <laughs> things made out of cardboard this time. Yep. But like I said, the Nintendo, some of the Nintendo guys will buy it no matter what. They love it. It's just, that's what's annoying me. If Microsoft Sony did this. or Sony, this would be laughed off. The yeah. Story. Or Microsoft. Here's the thing. There's yeah. only there's two entities in video games that can do no wrong according to the fans. Nintendo and Kojima. Yep. They can do anything. And people are at least willing to give them the benefit of the doubt no matter how crazy the idea is. Those two entities, I don't know what they did or how they got into your minds where they could do anything. But it's just like, come on, guys. It's cardboard. They're selling you paper. Yeah. Yeah. And you're buying it. Yeah. It's 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 a crazy test. Nintendo's like, what what else can we do? Can we get the fans to hate yeah, us? Yeah, I is mean, it the, the room board in Japan. I wouldn't be surprised if they did say that. What what crazy thing we could do? And they're gonna buy it. Well, yeah. what else? And again, if these were like fifteen dollars, I would be a little bit okay. It's not that expensive. Sixty-seven. Because I know Lego, and there's a bunch of other things yeah. that have this that have like these creator kits. So, oh, build a hydrogen car that's like a salt-powered little thing yeah. you can build it, or a solar-paneled uh, little spider robot. Mm-hmm. That's cool. I think kids should get into like building, and they're t- they're using their hands, and they have to think. Mm-hmm. But as a video game person, well, I don't want to build my con. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, like, I gotta build, build my my, my game. game. Yeah, and, my game is my game. I want to keep it that way. And how again replayability. What are we short. looking at? Two, three hours per, per mini game? These are assuming mini games. Yeah. yeah. I think would have been a smart idea 
if you're going to charge this much, maybe you release this, the, one of the cardboard cutouts for one item, and that would be for, like, multiple games. Like, release three games with it. You know, make yeah, it a little like more. Like I say, if you had the motorcycle one, maybe there'll be a rave race kind of game, then a, then a motorcycle, motorcycle game. Motorcycle and a yeah, side bike and, and, type of game. game. Yeah. But that's the thing. Yeah, would it be fun to play a side bike on a little motion little thing that I built myself? Yeah, about three times, and then I'm done with it. Yeah. And also, I mean, they're, like you said, kids are going to break them. Kids are going to, like, smash them in the wall or do something. Yeah, and... especially, like, the robot one, because I saw it has all these strings and stuff. This, that's... And again, this is something that's catering to the Japanese market, because oh, maybe they'll is... be able to take care of it. Because in this country, our kids are just going to Well, I'm trying to think, because once it. you build this thing, it's kind of bulky. Yeah. So now yeah. you have to, like, put it with the rest of their toys or put it up somewhere, and it's like, I don't know. And, and a lot of these little peripherals, you put the screen into it. Yeah. I don't know if I trust my console inside of a cardboard piece box. of cardboard. Maybe the house, maybe, but anything outside of that, it's flimsy. I don't see... Yeah. Um, the only thing I can see that would be kind of I want to make it out of metal. <laughs> yeah, it'd be kind of cool. <laughs> Some of the, that, that would actually be cool. All <laughs> sharp edges and everything. The pulley system's yeah. like leather and yeah, stuff. Yeah, like, you make it super cool. cool. Um, the only thing I can see that would be kind of playable for like adults, because right now we're talking, this is mainly for kids. The only thing I can see that would be kind of cool for maybe adults if there was a multiplayer aspect with the robot game. But it's kind of fun. Anywhere being a doxing myself, I'm six foot four. There's no <laughs> yeah. flipping way the that thing's going to be built for someone as tall as me. Yeah. It's just not going to happen. Well, again, like you'll, say, be, you'll be limited to the fishing rod yeah, and then the, the camera. camera. And yeah. again, what if they make a Pokemon Snap with the camera? That'd be pretty cool. But then the screen, like how, like you have to like. I don't know. I just be weird. People making uh, uh, pirated ones of these and copies of these and be three. Oh, the very, the very second seconds. this thing comes up, the the files will be online, yeah. and then you can just go to Walmart and get a bunch of boxes yeah. from like the produce I, I department, think... and then just cut it out yourself. Okay. I got a pile of cardboard in, in in my room right now. Yeah, I could just cut up some Amazon boxes, whatever, and and three, two, one. Yeah, yeah. like I said, it's gonna be quick. And that's gonna be the, the real hard problem for Nintendo because they're gonna be trying to shutting those down, but there's gonna be thousands of. Them. Oh yeah. How do you yeah. sell? How do you shut down someone selling cardboard? That's, that, that's, that's, can. that's what well, I said. Of the plans, the, yeah, the but templates. Even then. But that's what I'm saying. I think Nintendo should have the templates up for free, and so you can put it on generic cardboard, yeah. and then the software is like 15 bucks. Exactly. Or you can get the premium, super nice cardboard with all the Nintendo lettering and everything. And maybe some stickers. Yeah. Let, yeah. That, let that be for the hardcore fans, and let regular people. Just yeah. See, exactly. And then in the trailer, they show like kids like you know coloring it in and stuff. Yeah, it just reminds you so much of that. Oh, let's build the birdhouse together. Yeah. Let's build the soapbox derby racer it's together. That, it's that classic toy of like um because it's been it's been kind of more popular now with the whole cardboard toys. Like yeah. you can make a little race car and your kid puts it on and he runs around the house. Paper craft. Paper. All the different little paper crafts you can make little characters and you fold them and glue them together. Yeah. So this is like the evolution of that. Yeah. And since Nintendo has its name behind it, I would have liked to have seen some Nintendo characters. Like yeah. a Mario I, game. I, I, a, a Zelda game yeah. that used this. This cardboard, does it have any kind of properties that interacts at all with these games? Any it just holds like the Joy-Con and the Joy-Con. That's it, that's it. See, there's no chip how, or some kind of how thing cool, that make it part of the experience. How cool would it be if they had Zelda or like uh, Mario or sorry, Nintendo type games like Zelda and Mario in this. Yeah. Like, how cool would it be? You made Link's shield and a sword, and that's the two Joy-Cons. Yeah. So then you're like sword blocking, slashing. But boy, that would get tiring. For one who's done like, you know, Kinect stuff yeah. in the early days, you get tired real fast doing <laughs> it's that. It's super funny. <laughs> um, I remember, I, this, this is going back to motion controls, remember that boxing game in the arcades? Oh, Where you yeah. had all the gloves? Yeah, yeah. You're like the <laughs> third guy? <laughs> you're like, wait, like, I can't... You that's what like I'm a, saying. Do, 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 do. That, was a, that was totally off topic, but basically, playing yeah. with these little attachments... Like, they showed, like, a one where you build, like, a bug, and then the Joy-Cons, I guess, through its rumble, yeah. well, it makes it move, but what kind of game is that? Yeah, exactly. Is that like a racing? Oh, look, you can make it move, and it gets to interact with other people who build theirs, but yeah. it's just, like, a robot battle or something? Or, or, or do you put it, like, in a straight line, and they race, kind of? Yeah. The problem is, the only games that would be interesting for me to actually, if I had a Switch and did this, would be, like, maybe, like, a scary game where, like, you're putting a face together, like, some kind of surreal experience, but they're not going to make those kind of games with yeah. this. Yeah, but one of the ones, I don't know if it was the, on the piano one, but there was, like, one where you had to put these different blocks inside the thing. I don't know if you were solving a puzzle or yeah. disarming a bomb I want, I want or something. I want a little bit more, yeah, yeah, elaborate like that would be interesting yeah. as opposed to... Oh, just a fishing rod. Oh, just a book. That's know? what I'm saying. More something that it's unique to Nintendo. Like, that's yeah. something where I can go by and do this, you know. Um, I'm reading here on, again, coming from The Verge. Nintendo isn't commenting right now on whenever it will offer replacement parts if your cardboard piano gets squashed or broken. So, you know, kids are going to break yeah, things off throw of it. things. Yeah, so, like, can I just buy 
parts B, C, and F instead of having to rebuy the whole entire thing again. Exactly. Yeah. Or are they going to be separate? Are there going to be an ability where I can just buy the cardboard and not the game? Yeah, see, that's the thing. They need to make it to where... But I'm assuming if you already have the piece, you can just use that as the template and cut but out. But again, we're yeah, talking about yeah. Nintendo. All of a sudden, they're just slow to the draw on these things. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they yeah, really yeah. don't get on fast on these things. Look how long it took until they get Amiibos regularly in the store. So, you know, you get all these things and you build them and put them together. And I get you get to the point to where you have a whole... Collection. corner in your house of a bunch of cardboard toys and it's like and then you already have removables on the wall and yeah. it's like you're starting to run out of room here yeah so i'm looking at some of the things like making the fishing rod and stuff and it's just like yeah but after you go fishing for 20 minutes are you really gonna keep fishing play, play, you know that you're really <laughs> into fishing yeah. no you're not yeah. and it's know. funny because i was like and they, i'm glad they're uh putting more things that are like it has like the wire and the string and everything and then, so it's adding more to yeah, it yeah when you actually turn it, it makes the crank noise Where's the thing? The, one yes. of the one of the strong points of switch is it's portable are you really gonna use this outside your house with these no. attachments no. no see that that takes away the portability of it see so i'm looking at the some of the pictures uh, look at the bug game you like you set up little like waypoints Oh, so like little things that maybe you have to touch each one or stay on track. See, that's a little interesting, but again, a little interesting isn't even quite to eighty dollars. Yeah, yeah, that's the problem. I don't know. It, it could be fun, but I don't really see. I'm glad in all these pictures, these promotional pictures, it's showing children playing with this. Then, like a parent helping out. That's what should be yeah, happening. Not. Exactly. I'm sorry if you're over 13 years old <laughs> and, you to... and you're like super into this and you can't wait to build these things. And you don't have kids of your own. I, I don't yeah. know what to say. I, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna make fun of you, but man, that's. It, it, it's one of those things where like, cause I, cause I have kids and I sit there thinking like, yeah, it'd be really fun to play, but am I gonna be by myself in the robot suit? Probably, <laughs> maybe once, maybe once, and that's about. You think I'll close the blinds? Because <laughs> exactly. well, yeah. I answer the door to my neighbors and I'm in my robot. The only way I'm gonna be playing is our other brother is like Nintendo diehard guy. <laughs> I guarantee he's gonna get this, and he has he has two daughters. Yeah, his daughter, daughter. his daughters are um his eldest daughter's old enough to maybe really be into this. Yeah. But, like, your boys are still no. a little young. They still may not understand. They're going to throw the piano and just... Yeah, they're going to want to... Like, maybe once they see that it makes noises with this... Maybe they Yeah, maybe. Be, they but they're like, not going to, like, be able to beat a world yeah. or anything no. like that. Do, do you see this thing blowing up to the point where there'll be, like, 50 different games? Uh, yeah. It depends. It depends on how the games do. The hardcore fans will buy it. But I don't see this having less legs than Japan. I think it could do well. Oh, yeah. that fits that market. This has more legs than, say, something like Wii Music. Yes. yes which yeah. was a complete Disaster. utter failure. Yeah, I, was about, I was about to, yeah, that's right. I was about to mention that earlier in the podcast. But yeah, Wii Music, the only thing I knew that just failed, besides Virtual Boy. This, yeah. This has potential. Yeah, it does. It does. The I, price, kind of like, man, you can tell, oh, I want to buy my kid this $60 cardboard thing, and I don't even know if they're going to even like it or not. Exactly. Because you have to, and also, you're, you have to know your kid when you buy this for them. Are they a building type kid who likes to put things exactly. together? Can and, they use their imagination a little bit into, like, because some kids don't. Like, some kids would be like, I don't want this. I want, you know, Dark Souls 3 coming out for the Switch. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, I want to those kinds of games. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I guess it was the piano one where you put the different numbers in there, like the little modules. Yeah, <laughs> to make like maybe different noises. Yeah, like maybe or like kids solve puzzles and stuff. But again, I, 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 w- I want to see that like I was saying a little bit earlier, but maybe even use these original ones. I like put them in unique games. Yeah, but we're we gonna get to that point. Exactly. I don't know if we're gonna get to that point. Are we gonna get to that Zelda game they make for it, or the Mario game, or something like that? Could, could yeah. you see a full blown real, like? I want to say like a Breath of the Wall type experience with something like this. Exactly. And, or it's just going to be nothing but mini games. Exactly. That's what ends up happening with a lot of these or, Nintendo things. Or even better, you know how the robot, make that a, a Samus suit that you put on. Yeah, how cool would that be? be? Yeah, cool. that would be cool. And or like, have a game where like the piano be like in a surreal type of game where like it's a piano player trying to get back his memories. Make it kind of a little bit more, we're going to get to that. Yeah, an actual game game. Game, not, yeah. Not you just, have to play the notes at the key times or something. I don't know. I'm just saying, make it more than just, oh, learning music. It's got to be more than that. I think Nintendo also with this has opportunity to like maybe bundle some like gang making software so where kids can make up their own games that would be and cool. build their own carports. I think there's a lot of potential here. But will they do that? Will it ever get to any of this? I don't know. Like I said, I don't think uh, maybe, maybe not. I'm gonna build this robot suit, put it on and tear it apart because I'm so freaking tall that ah! <laughs> it's gonna just fall apart. I don't, well, I'm gonna, we're gonna see some cool cosplays out of this. You're gonna see a person get cardboard and make it like a cool looking suit from top to head to Tony's a real big guy. That'd be great. <laughs> We'll see that upcoming convention. Like I, said, I, I want the metal one. That'd be so tight. Yeah, just make it out of metal. <laughs> <laughs> Makes out of iron. It's all perfect. So it just uh, we're gonna see some more from this. Nintendo always does, for better or for worse. Like like you mentioned, the Virtual Boy trying to do all these different oh, yeah, things. Yeah, sometimes things. they fail. Sometimes they don't. Yeah. 
like the Wii with motion controls, and this is like I guess the evolution of that motion control. Yeah, yeah. making actual toys. Yeah, I think I think Wii U was just a, uh, was just a stop to put something out there. Mm -hmm. I think the real uh, progression was from Wii to friggin' Switch. I think yeah. that yeah. was the real next con console. So I'm, I'm thinking if you had like um, a bunch of kids and then they all had different sets so they can bring them over and you can oh, try yeah, yeah. Think, about gifts. see Ooh. but like if you have friends at school I'm thinking they're trying to build kind of like a community feel here yeah or how cool would it be if like you had different toys that can interact in different games like say you got the, the motorcycle one right well your friend has the robot maybe he drives the robot and he has to like yeah and, 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 and he's, like, there has to be some yeah. cool stuff like yeah, that yeah, yeah, that'd be kind of but you bring over the robot suit every kid's gonna want the robot <laughs> oh, yeah, suit no one's true. gonna want anything yeah, else yeah, no, that's true. a problem I can see my nephews fighting over that robot suit, suit like no one's business I think they can't wait to use these uh, things when you play No More Heroes <laughs> yeah I know right there could be some type of hookup thing <laughs> that'd be funny so I'm I'm I'm, I always like the idea that families and Nintendo's always been good about bringing the family yeah, together. Yeah, yeah. Everyone sits down and everyone can enjoy a Nintendo console. Yeah. And this is just, just another you know evolution of that Nintendo, the family home entertainment system. It, exactly. It could fail. It, it, it has potential to fail. Only also. Nintendo can pull the this off. The yeah, thing exactly. about, about Nintendo, though, is that they have an idea and concept. They're perfect at having concepts, but sometimes they don't execute them, right? Yeah, they don't That's do when it's well. so weird. Nintendo does that all the time. Like, they're the rich person that has an idea, but they don't fall through I with think it. that just from seeing how many different kinds of like little things that we saw they have a lot of ideas that's another thing too oh there's only two different sets it looks like there's at least a dozen or so yeah, different 12. little things well, one of they're going to be ready to go though yeah see maybe they showed off the camera one but the camera one doesn't because they didn't show a game with that but they did show like it had like a lens focuser and yeah, everything yeah and it's kind of like in a box so it's kind of yeah. cool kind of and yeah. you put the joy-con like where the yeah. lens is and the other joy-cons like up here Meh. that's for it's for the uh, photographer the Vietnam simulator <laughs> also, or the or like, again, Make a Pokemon game attached to this. Oh, exactly. that would be cool. Yeah, Pokemon Snap. You know, like, sometimes the Tim doesn't use that, they don't use that resource of Pokemon they have right there. That would or be a good idea. Or better yet, could you imagine that with uh, Pokemon Go? So you actually go outside your house, take pictures, and you're actually taking pictures of the Pokemon Go stuff. I'm, all, I'm almost pretty cool. sure, almost 100% our other brother already found a way to pre-order this. <laughs> <laughs> He's waiting. Well, like we're saying our brother's a die-hard Nintendo, Nintendo maniac. Yeah. Okay. He only has Nintendo consoles. He won't even play other exactly. consoles. Exactly. I mean, put it this way. When they when they made Doom and Skyrim, he has never played those games. Ever before. So oh. we, he's going to probably get them for the Switch so he can play That would literally be his only way he's ever played those games. Yeah. It's funny, too, about that is that we got him a 360 years ago and he didn't even really play it. He no. played a couple sports games that and that was it. it. Yeah. And it was kind of a waste, but yeah. we tried. Yeah, we did. <laughs> Um, it's so funny. It's like, uh, I'm also reading here on this thing. The Labo proves successful. It's possible we could see more complex kicks, kits aimed at older audiences. Mm. I don't know. I think this needs to stay with the family and with the, the kids. kids. Yeah, it's yeah. not. You, that guy was saying a little bit earlier, use these kits, simple ones for more complex games. Don't make complex kits. I think that, that robot one looks pretty complex because yeah. they showed the inside of it where all the strings have yeah. to connect and everything. It looks... Looks like it could be a, uh, like a little afternoon thing you do yeah. with your son, you know, or your daughter after school. Hey, let's build the game. That's kind of fun, I think. Yeah. I, I think it's a good idea. The price really gets me. I mean, is it worth $69 and $80 for the robot one? Mm -hmm. And is that just one game? Yep. $80? Can you imagine if you buy that and your kid gets it and destroys it like him. Or doesn't time. enjoy the game or the yeah. game isn't responsive. It's yeah. $80. And there's no, I'm hoping Nintendo, idea for Nintendo... Go to Toys R Us's, Walmart's, Targets, and have demos set yeah, up. Have so to, kids yeah. can try out the things like, oh, you really like the robot game, let's buy it. So this kind of feels like something you kind of need to I try think, out. I think, yeah. like you said, key would be they have to have kiosks. They have to. Yeah. Let I think people I agree try with that. these things out. And then maybe even yeah. have like a Nintendo representative there to kind yeah. of like help them if they're having but the, problems. But see, the problem is with Nintendo lately is that they don't have kiosks. They just have only in key select areas. Yeah, they have it for a little while. No, put it like, everywhere. At the Nintendo shop. That well, yeah. they, need to, like, they need to do like a Nintendo tour where a big bus goes into town and stops at like one of the schools but or that's whatever. Just, just not just doing select areas. Just yeah. have it go around all the major cities. And also with the actual box, make it custom. Maybe sell some different paints. Maybe sell different decals. You know that's going to happen. They showed someone like wrapping like stickers. I'm pretty sure they're going to, you know, kids are going to just literally go to a craft store and buy a sticker book. Yeah. And they're, they're going to want to decorate it the way they want to decorate well, it. Well, yeah, make sure. it personal to them. Yeah, and I was saying, well, and Nintendo can jump on that by making Nintendo type stickers or like stuff like that. Because I mean, come on, who doesn't want to put Nintendo seal of approval? Yeah, I want that, on that on that other box. See, here's the thing, and people, you know, talking about the games and, and everything. Yeah, this is great and all, but this isn't The Witcher Three. No, no, this is this not... is this isn't the Breath of the Wild. 
This isn't, you know, uh, Zero Dawn Horizon. Or Mario Odyssey. No, it's, it's, it, it's a Dragons video game. Fighters. It's yeah. just, it just, it's a left turn, and it's great, and it's wonderful for its own little thing. But this isn't the next evolution of game. But those type of people that overhype it are going to ruin it yeah. a little bit. Yeah. You've got to keep it measured, but they just won't do it. Like you said, you got to you got to keep it. It's for kids. I'm going to walk around in my little robot suit. Hey, you guys, how's it going? Going to work. Going to work. You get know, the backpack on. The clubs are in the fucking. Sink. And then when the next uh, <laughs> when the next uh, scene game comes on Nintendo, they can. Well, you can with the robot one when they're doing. Oh, you got to Mr. Roboto. <laughs> yeah, you're ready, man. You you're ready to go. Yeah, you're ready. If anyone can pull this off, it's Nintendo. It's, yeah, because it's they got that clout where they can come up with a ridiculous idea and somehow people will give it enough, um, I want to say, uh, cachet. Yes, they built that, yes. that yeah. customer love that where they can release something like this and at least they'll have a chance. Microsoft couldn't do this. Oh, Microsoft right. did this, it'd be laughed, it'd be laughed that's, out that's of That's what gets me well, so anyone angry can, if you did Sony would be laughed out of the thing. They'd yeah, but that's you, just how it is. And then, well, and because Nintendo has like that kid. Yeah, okay. that family. Oh, do this with your kid, and you can do some bonding time with father and son, mother daughter. Yeah. You know, everyone gets it, together. It's that it's that old argument where Nintendo switched from being that adult uh, gamer console to that family, and that's where they can get the trade off. They don't have cool games like Witcher, but yet they can pull this off. <laughs> uh, but thinking of the same thing, what about families? Okay, you buy the robot kit. Okay, you got it for certain. Well, daughter wants one for herself because she wants to make hers her colors. Yeah. Well, do you have to buy a whole other eighty dollar kit? You make them battle. In the <laughs> they yeah, you have to fight for it. Where you have the template at that point. Yeah, come on. Come on. I mean, that's ridiculous. I guess you could technically lay the template over some cardboard yeah, that you but, got, then yeah, cut around it. Yeah, you gotta have some skill. To yeah, do that. I, I, I think there should be thing, but then of course they're gonna want the one with all the Nintendo. Yeah, so I got, I got yeah, an idea exactly. that's interesting. I don't think they'd ever do it, but why well, about one that's like a diorama? And then you can have like a little story about two people in a house or something. Like, just make it more elaborate. Uh, yeah. Make it to where it interacts with the amiibos. The there amiibos will be the characters in the storybook, and then like you yeah, have to and you have like sets. a little you have exactly. a little box and a little set in the background. Like that's what I'm thinking. More elaborate, but again, I don't know. Yeah. We'll see where this can go. There's yeah. some cool ideas because that'd be kind of cool. Because they say if you do the story right and you do it like on the boxes and you all that, it records it on the switch and then it plays it back to you from the video. So it shows like the like what you did. Yeah, get some more friendly YouTube interface. Huh? No, yeah. it's really funny when before we started this video, I would thought, oh man, I want to be trashing this thing. Yeah, but we kind of ended up liking <laughs> it, just talking about because, it. You know why? Because we have imagination. We're, we would have been those kids that would have loved this movie. Yeah, if I was again, eight years old, I would have loved the hell out of but this. But as much as we're, we're kind of quasi praising it, we're not going to buy it. No, yeah, I'm no. not going um, to do because it. I'm not going to. I'm yeah, not buying buy a this. Switch. Yeah, and even for me, I have kids. I'm not going to buy. I it. think. I think. We have a nephew who's eight years old, and I think this would be perfect for him. Yeah. That he would love to, you know, build the things and color it because he likes to draw and stuff. This would be absolutely perfect for him. And yeah. please, Nintendo, on the initial thing, have enough for everyone to get. I know. This is cardboard. Come we only on. made four. Exactly. Yeah, we made seriously. two of the robots in the whole world. Good luck finding them. <laughs> well, okay, thanks a lot. <laughs> one of the one of the one of them went to New York. Another one went to like Sheboygan somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Okay, thanks guys. Some random place that doesn't even sell games. Go Pico, I think you can some more. Thanks guys. <laughs> so I think overall the idea, the concept, I really like. The price is killing oh, me. Yeah, it is. The oh, price oh, is oh, killing oh. me. And what if this this bombs and then you have a bunch of worthless cardboard in your house yeah. that you paid. If you get both kits, we're looking at what seventy and eighty over a hundred some dollars. You could have got another freaking switch almost. Yeah, or three DS. But I'm gonna elaborate a little bit what you were saying about kids. I rather just go to a family of kids. I don't want some guy getting it, just putting it right away in the first batch and putting it in his closet or putting it for a shelf. Oh, look like, what like I amiibos got. that people do with yeah. the amiibos yeah. and they even use them. And then yeah. like, standing with the old Nintendo minis. Oh, the Nintendo minis. I, I, stuff. Yeah, exactly. I started to get the majority of my amiibos that I wanted after there was a lot of them, so I didn't yeah. really kind of. I literally matter. have one, two, three, four, or five amiibos. Those are the ones that I like. Yeah. And that's it. I don't need it anymore. No. But for the most part, I'm I'm glad. And again, Nintendo's they got they got the I don't know. I want to say the Gohan is to do something so crazy and weird that maybe it does catch on and we get some... I just want to see crappy pretenders make like garbage versions you know of this. they're going to. They're you going to and it's going to confuse people and kill it. Or they make it out of like the, the Pepsi cans. Like yeah. the boxes, the little thin pieces. Oh yeah, like the, yeah, yeah, the, the 12 pack. <laughs> or beer things. I want to make it out of beer, beer cardboard. That'd be great. That'd be great. He had a Budweiser. He's awesome. Hey, Come on, kids. Pop, and it works perfectly too. He gets a little parts like it makes it work. Yeah. <laughs> I'll go through it. That'd be funny. So, Nintendo, I uh, wish you the best of luck on this idea. I, we see some potential, some pretty cool stuff that you can do. Just keep supporting it. 
don't let it come out and be like, well, the next kit will be out next year. No, exactly. you got to keep stuff rolling out with but new stuff. But then Nintendo's bad with that. Yeah, though. I know they I are. Know. They've gotten a little bit better at the DLC, but they need to be really on top of this. Like, yeah. if the robot game comes out, maybe in the next couple weeks or a month, you come out with more DLC for robot games. At least more once stuff. At the, I think at the latest, every three weeks. Every two to three weeks. Something it has to be yes, something new mini game. At least piano. a year. Yeah, just keep this thing going. Because if I paid 80 bucks to play one mini game. Yeah. I mean, it needs to be some more robot stuff coming out, some more cool stuff. As I said, I want multiple games in one thing. Exactly. After and maybe some multiplayer robot battle. Yeah, like you know, custom robo all over, but it's a rareable one. Yeah, yeah, you get to wear it. Give us a tie-in with um, Pacific Rim. Come on, do something. <laughs> <laughs> do something. Yeah, with this. You have two people together. This no, that would be cool. <laughs> no, no, that that would be awesome. You make a two-man robot where you have to work together to make the legs move. And... <laughs> That'd be so funny. <laughs> That'd be crazy. Complicated, but it'd be cool though. Oh man. Yeah, but how many times would even? Yeah. Do that? That's so complex. Or who would play? I'd do it every day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Three, four times a day. But um, yeah, you know, it looks cool. Yeah. Crimson Sin here. Thanks for watching and be sure to like, sub, and share. Also, for the most up to date information about the podcast, follow us on Twitter at C15Podcast.